Hey, what's up everyone? This is Wicked Android HD and tonight I have the honor and the pleasure to show you the latest GDC theme ROM. So it's made by Dev Connection theme made for the GFLT. This is an animation that was uh, originally made by Ovox Ivanov, a friend of mine. Also a YouTube uh, uh, viewer of mine, of my channel. And I do always like uh, this uh, multi-color notification LED, LED. So this was the boot animation, let me enter the pin. And then we'll get into this beautiful, beautiful ROM latest version of uh, uh, actually this ROM is based on Cyanogen mode 12 oh, sorry let me put it to the silent mode put it to silent mode okay so this is based on latest Android version um, latest Android version for the Galaxy S4 5.1.1 based on Cyanogen mode 12.1 and it uh, they they told us they told us that um, this is an optimized version of Cyanogen mode builds. It's made by them, Dev Connection team. And uh, if you want to know more info about this ROM, they have it. And the version 5.1.9 optimized Cyanogen mode, as I, as I told you, that this ROM is running kernel Alcott's kernel Power Core, and um, it was released yesterday on 22nd of, uh, of October so apart from that and the great work on Terrace and other Terrace one and other developers put into this uh, ROM I uh, have to thank personally Ovax Ivanov for telling me that I should make a video about it so thanks and I do also have to congratulate him for for making that beautiful boot animation so apart from that let's get into real business uh, if you've seen my previous video about GDC team and uh, their ROM uh, based on these galaxy on the on my device the Galaxy S4 i9505 uh, you would already know that uh, it is a stable ROM it is rocket fast and beside of that uh, I like the part that uh, it does benefit of some tiny customizations not too much too many customizations but uh, they are what you actually need from a ROM so starting from uh, the lock screen and the ability to set up um, different type of lock screen and modify the lock screen shortcuts uh, going into notifications and uh, disabling disable disabling or enabling the heads up notification display um to the mostly used ones like uh, theming setting up the status bar like the clock styling to center as you may see and uh, the battery status style these are really major major things that every every ROM should uh, take into consideration um Notification drawer is also a customizable part of this ROM. As always, you can uh, quick pull down like from uh, the right side, and you will get all these toggles right here, along with the notifications. You can show the weather. You can customize the tiles. You can add as many tiles as you want. You have tons of them, including root access and other small tweaks that you already know. The most important thing about this ROM is not that it uh, benefits of uh, it benefits of these kind of small small graphical tweaks, but the stability and the smoothness of it. You would find this ROM like it w it will be close to the Google Edition ROM, which is a really good step taking into consideration that uh, CM12. It's mainly a little bit different from uh, Google Google uh, Google Edition ROMs. They have their own uh, code based on Google Edition, but a different one with some optimization optimizations they they want to give us. Uh, then and they're not always the best. 
but this these developers that are currently working on this rom and they are part of the gs the gdc team um they make it made a good work a good work um so they gave us this beautiful update with uh, with this new application it's called toolbox so dev connection so let's get into it so settings you can uh, change the app and but uh, I would rather like to disable the ads because uh, don't like the way they look I support them with this video so okay so about the ledify you can customize the pattern of your notification LED and you can also set uh, if you want to see how it looks you can preview it for five seconds as you may see it is currently running I had to set remember my choice there apart from it you have I infrared driver I think it is so this is a manager for device infrared LED driver smart way to make any infrared application work so yep that is strictly related to the infrared port situated right here on the top of the device okay um, let's see the notification of course uh, I wanted to get into this uh, but uh, as uh, many ROMs this this uh, this uh, period of time this period of time they look exactly almost the same so same wallpaper same Android L wallpaper same everything this ROM also gives you at the beginning when you will uh, be finishing the boot the first booting up process you'll notice that it has some really nice graphical graphical changes really nice graphical tweaks including this beautiful wallpaper I will try and show you how it works so if I get another app here so you may see it may it seems to be a pyramid to me from Egypt but uh, yeah it may be anything so if I'm wrong this gives you a more minimalistic look and you no know, you'll stick to the um, it helps you uh, remember this ROM as it will have for example best uh, wallpaper that you like and yeah um, so we had to get into lock screen this is how the lock screen looks of course you can see the notifications so the I don't know if you noticed the bug from the latest Google edition uh, uh, based ROM based of the latest ROM based on Google edition that you have a, a bug right when you just check the notifications now this ROM had this bug fixed apart from that you know this is pretty much it any and or any CM 12 base ROM um, this is running all cards kernel so you can easily customize the kernel settings by going into s tweaks one thing that I found uh, really annoying and I don't really like is this notification the hashtag notification icon and I couldn't find a way to disable it like it will normally uh, I could uh, find it for example in a resurrection ROM or any other CM12 base ROMs but I couldn't find on this I have searched for three or five minutes but I couldn't find it so if you f if you have a solution about that please make sure you comment right down below into the comment section so let's make a phone call for example let's see how fast so let's call 415 for example I hit the call button oh no I hit okay so yep this is how it looks like uh, let's see how notification how the new notification looks like on the lock screen 
So I had some feedback. As you may see, this is the ambient display that uh, up this pulsating display Android L feature. So yeah, the messaging app. You can see again really stylish. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That pretty much sums it to all the features of this ROM. Uh, as you may see, it is blazing fast, no problems at all. And uh, if I don't know what was the battery percentage at the beginning of the video, but right now it's 58%. So make sure you you see now, yeah, 57% right now. Make sure you you notice how fast it. Uh, went down from when I start to the to this moment and uh, of course that's not really necessarily the greatest battery life you will get with this ROM because um, uh, you'll need to uh, get it some time to calibrate with uh, three or four full charges and then you'll be ready to test it properly so yeah, that was it for today, guys. Again, thanks for 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 uh, Ovax Ivanov for telling me about this ROM, and uh, again, congrats! I congratulate him for making that beautiful boot animation. It looks really stylish, and uh, that's pretty much it for this latest ROM from Dev Connection GDC team. It is stable. They reckon that uh, it is stable. And I hope uh, it will it will be so so thank you for watching guys if you like this video make sure you thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel uh, by doing that you'll be updated always with latest android roms updates and whatever you know what i'm saying thank you for watching guys victory is out bye bye